Okay, I just wanted to mention about orientation because before I began the scenarios, I would orient all five students. The five students include the two students who are acting as the RNs, the two students who are acting as observers, and the one student who is a family member. I would take all five students through each room and introduce them to each mannequin. I would show them all what capabilities that particular mannequin had, whether it was heart sounds or breath sounds, whether you would get a pulse or not, whether they were on the monitor or not. Um, And then with our low fidelity patients, it's important that they know that they need to ask or tell the observer what they're doing so that the observer can provide that feedback. Um, After introducing them to all the four mannequins and their capabilities, I would also show them around the actual unit, what kinds of things we had available for them, for example, medications, medication drawers, any lab uh, materials and so forth. I would let them have a look at that. At that point, I would let the two nurses um, take some time to look through the charts, look through the drawers, and get themselves familiarized with the equipment. And then I would take the two observers and the family member for a private orientation. It's at this point that they become aware of the fact that at seven minutes, things are going to change. And uh, they will then know which particular patient is going to experience those changes and the feedback that they need to provide at that point. I'd also tell the family member how, you know, show them the script and show them um, exactly how they were going to respond at seven minutes, ensuring that they bring one of the nurses into the room to attend to their family member. They can also provide additional feedback at that point too. So after orienting the three students who were acting as the observers and the family member, I would return back to the room and all five uh, students would listen to the taped report from the evening before. And then at that point, that's when the um, simulation would proceed. Remembering that one observer will always follow the same RN student and the other observer will follow the other RN student providing feedback as necessary. After the 20 minutes of simulation, regardless of where they are during the simulation, that is when it ends. At that point, the students gather up and they go usually into a separate room and sit down and discuss Uh, or debrief, as we call it. In your packet, there are debriefing questions that we ask the students and allow anybody, observers, family member, or the two RNs to provide any uh, feedback on how they felt the scenario went. Uh, Questions included in that include, you know, what they did well, what they didn't do well, what they could change for next time. So um, that and that 20 minute debriefing is, again, only 20 minutes at the end of that 20 minutes you're completed. And then we would begin with the next group. So the best of luck with your simulation. I hope you enjoy it as much as we did and the students.